Today we ask the age old question. Will it meatloaf? Let's talk about that. Mythical 2018! We're back! And we got a big season plan for all you mythical beasts and it all starts right now. Today we're gonna be testing a brand new exercise hybrid that I guarantee you've never seen before. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna be looking at some awkward things happening on Google Street View. And don't forget, if you wanna make sure you get the full GMM experience every day, click the thumbnail with the green, green border. border to watch from the beginning. And also in 2018, we plan on saying that less and less. Cause you, cause you know it by now. That's right. All right, we're gonna kick this season off right. I can't think of anything more right mm. than a will it. On today's menu, meat in the shape of a loaf, also known as meatloaf. It is time for Will It Meatloaf? Typically meatloaf is made by mixing ground beef with raw eggs, bread crumbs, and ketchup, and then smushing it all together in a loaf shape and baking it in the oven. Now, I have eaten many a meatloaf, but I have never done what I just said. That's right, but what? our amazing crew has done is they've kept the raw eggs and the breadcrumbs as a binding agent. Then we've added in our Willet ingredient, shaped it into a loaf and baked it. Well, baked most of them. Mm -hmm. So not all these have ground beef in them, but they all still look like a loaf. Let's get started with the first one. Uh -huh. Bring it in. Pizza is one of the greatest foods on the planet, uh, which is why it's been transformed into calzones, bagel bites, lunchables, and as of today, the pizza loaf. We wanted to channel a meat lover's pizza into a loaf form. So this thing's got pepperoni sausage bacon, Canadian bacon, pancetta, ham, and pizza crust blended up with eggs and breadcrumbs. It's also got larger chunks on top, marinara sauce mixed in, an entire log of mozzarella cheese in the middle. Oh gosh. Where is it? This thing looks so glorious. Okay, Link. I'm just cutting you a slice, here. bro. Get in. I think on that's it. the cheese cheese log in the middle. Here, take a take a plate and uh oh my give yourself a slice. We got something a... real, real nice. Uh we call this meat loafers oh, pizza. Gosh. It looks like a classic meatloaf, except when you get closer, you're like Wait a second. This is this is like the deepest dish meat lovers pizza oh, ever made. Thank you. Now I just received a, a knife that I can actually cut loaves with. Um, okay. Now we have a side of ranch dressing. Now typically I would take ketchup and pour all over the thing, so I'm just going to do that for the ranch. Just a nice little. Yeah. Boop. I'm going to dip. And I'm you can be a dipper. I'm dipping. Oh my goodness. Bank me. Sink me. No matter how you very meaty, you arrange these ingredients, you're always gonna be happy. That is just the lesson of pizza. And the ranch gives it a nice, refreshing pop that you would usually get from the ketchup. I don't even need the ranch. Oh my goodness. I don't need to take a ride on the ranch. Guys. Stay right here on the loaf. <laughs> how many calories do you think this whole oh, loaf don't, is? No, don't ask that question. Don't say the C word. I think we might be in five figures at this point. This yeah. is a 10,000 calorie loaf. Yeah. Wow. But the real question is not that. It's will pizza meatloaf? Yes. yes. Now chips are great for parties, but chip bowls take up a lot of real estate on the party table. But not no more they don't. We've taken every single chip we can think of and put it all in one place. We present to you the chip loaf. Good gracious. It's like you gotta squint because it's so bright. Now all our loaves are gonna come pre-sliced so we don't have to go through that every single time. So we've got some end pieces for ourselves. Just drop it right on there. This thing has barbecue lays, nacho cheese Doritos, original Pringles, country flaming hot Cheetos. Crunchy? I said, I said country. <laughs> Crunchy. Look they got that. this new product called country flaming it's hot Cheetos. <laughs> it's real big in South Carolina. Garden harvest sun chips, original Fritos, salt and vinegar, vinegar kettle chips, and puffy Cheetos. And then boy, this that's thing heavy. is solid. Yeah, we've we've packed a lot into oh this. Oh my gosh! And then it's served with a French onion. Uh, chip dip on the side. It's like if you steamroll oh, the chip aisle in a grocery store. You just steamroll it and then. You don't need a fork for this. Just, I think this is just a dip and dink. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is a dip and dink situation. French, French onion? Because you know this is going to be dry. Yeah. Don't overpower it. Dink it. Sink it. Oh. Hmm. It is dry. <laughs> it's corny. A this lot like, of corn. If somebody were to decide to build a home 
out of chips. <laughs> yeah. And then you went through and just swept up the construction site? I and then you, baked it all? You could bore a hole in there and make a chip glue. Yeah. Chippy glue for like a guinea pig? Now, there's something, uh, the chip flavor is great, but this is one of those situations where- You're missing the crunch. You're missing the texture and the crunch and the shape. The presentation of a chip is supposed to be a chip. It's not supposed to be a loaf. And there was no way to know that until right now. That's the wonderful thing about this show, is that we answer these questions for you guys, so now you know you don't need to loaf a chip. Yeah, I had high hopes, but chips, will they meet loaf? No. no. All right, I'm predicting that this next item is gonna be a revelation amongst college students across the world. College students, get ready, because we have taken every single item from the Taco Bell menu and meatloafed it. We present to you the entire Taco Bell menu loaf. <laughs> And uh, it, it's dressed kind of like Nachos Bel Grande on top. Look at that. It's like the general color of Taco Bell. Ew, I, like, I don't like how that lettuce is hanging out of the middle. There's like a, a sheath of lettuce. Just take that, Link. <laughs> okay. Um, again, it has everything in it. It even has Baja Blast Mountain Dew mixed know. into it. How'd you get that in there? And it just, it's, it's like, it smells like oh, Taco we got Bell's. Some, we got some fire sauce. I feel like we gotta eat this with your hands. In order, if this is gonna catch on amongst the students, they, they don't have utensils. They, you, you're just an animal. They, you show up your freshman year, I remember, and I was just like, it was either French bread pizza or a burrito. And I ate that nonstop for seven months. Look at your thumb. It's yeah. like, I'm going back to college. Ah. <laughs> I almost choked you on okay. your own thumb. I'm just gonna add weird. some fire sauce here. <laughs> okay, dink it. It's got potential because it doesn't seem too hard. And sink it, yeah. It, it, it feels a, soft. It's got a softness too. You gotta it. have a softness in your loaf. Consistency is great. Taste is not bad. Not bad at all. This could work. We're gonna have to set up a kiosk on every campus though. Because I think it's the kind of thing you Hold have. on, I'm fluctuating a little. No, don't fluctuate now, we've already committed. Well, you gotta convince hey, me. Think about the average mind of a college student, okay? Even a community college student. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking. Hey, that was last year, man, leave, <laughs> leave it be. I'm, no, I'm just saying this. <laughs> don't bring that into the new I'm year. I'm just saying any kind of college student. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They all, what they need is they just need fuel it's, for it's, the things that they yeah. do. It's like a brick, fuel brick, taco brick. And this is almost like the kind of thing. Taco Bell brick. You just line them up, like open your mouth, you just line them up and you just stuff it, you just you just stuff it in like that. Huh. You just, you know. And then they they can keep studying, they can keep doing the things with their hands, mm. they do writing and taking notes. Mmm, I'm smart. You know? I'm getting real smart. This is the perfect college food. Mm-hmm. But I think we just need to, we need an actual partnership with Taco Bell because I think they just need to start selling this. Uh, because I definitely don't want to. You doing okay over there, college student? I'm doing great. I think he's doing that to me. Okay, Taco Bell menu. <laughs> Will it meatloaf? Yes. yes. Now, if you like sushi, you've probably heard of and had a sushi boat. And if you can boat it, why can't you loaf it? Let's bring in the sushi loaf. No. <laughs> yes, Link. Uh, all your dreams are coming true. It looks beautiful. Oh my god. And look at the cross section of this thing. It looks like just a dead fish laying on the board <laughs> well, with the innards still inside of it. Okay, well, I'm about to give you a description of this thing that's gonna make you wanna eat it so bad, Link. Um, so instead of breadcrumbs and actual eggs, this is the one loaf that we're using sushi rice and salmon roe, technically eggs, as the binding agent. And then we've got salmon and tuna sashimi uh, blended up with the rice uh, to make a paste. We got a freshwater eel roll that's coming right through the middle. We got a California roll coming right through the middle and a spicy tuna roll. And then the whole thing is wrapped in seaweed. And then we've got some assorted sashimi on top, spicy mayo, eel sauce. And then of course we do have a sushi boat with the, you know, the fixins. And this thing is of course not baked because it's sushi. Or uh, anything except just assembled. Which it's is, assembled. All right, let me dump a little. Look at what I caught. Dump a lot. This came <laughs> right off of the boat. Pull it into the boat. And oh wow, Link, you're gonna love this. You can already tell. Uh, Even for a guy who likes sushi, I think this may be hard to handle. So I don't know where to it. start. You're supposed to eat a whole piece of sushi piece in, in a bite. Yeah, but I'm I mean, there's gonna, three kinda, rolls inside of it. Yeah, I'm grabbing a little bit of that roll, and a little bit. Gonna get some of those eggs off the top, and then I'm gonna take a dive in the boat. <laughs> Uh, I'm, and then I'm, I'm gonna stand by and wait to dink. I'm obliterating this thing. Okay, 
You want something with some wasabi? It can't hurt, can it? Well, that amount can. Oh, that's too much. No, 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 no. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. I was joking. If you had to eat that whole ball in order to feel anything, dink it and sink it. Ah! It tastes just like sushi. The green stuff is helping. Woo, but it's strong. Yeah. Um, I will note that I'm not actually gagging. Like I've started, to, I've started to put some types of sushi in my mouth, in like social circles. Just put them in your mouth. Yeah. Just, like. Oh, so not. And Chrissy's like, he's not eating; he's just testing it. Just putting it in my mouth is something that I've grown to do. Um, so, I, so I think I might be able to get this down. Well, while you're trying to get it down, now here's okay. a, here's the issue. It tastes great. No. It tastes like sushi, but the problem is, is that sushi has already achieved this wonderful form. Like you said, the individual. Like once you start making it look like it's inside like, of an animal and just kind of yeah, cutting yeah. it like a loaf, exactly, it really loses all of its appeal. It's like sushi for a giant. So if you got a giant coming over for dinner and they're like, "Me want sushi," give them this. Otherwise, sushi will it loaf? No. no. Throughout history, people have found strange things and asked, "I wonder what that tastes like." Balut is a prime example. It is a developed or developing bird embryo, usually a duck, that is boiled and eaten Ugh. from the shell. Um, this is a, yeah, you can see that there's like, I see little bits of feather. I'm just saying Ugh. that there's a little, I, let's not dwell on what it is, let's move on to loafing it. <laughs> yeah, which you know what may help because looking at that just individually, it's yeah. just like, how did that become a thing? But once you throw it in a loaf, oh, it it looks like a, a horrifying loafed, Vomit thing. It smells like a horror movie. It's... I can see feathers. Look at right, right there. Right there is like hairy duck embryo feather thingy. Oh gosh. But we do have salt and pepper. This is a delicacy. And lemon juice, which is gonna make it all okay. Because that's what they typically uh, eat below in, in Vietnam. Plates. Other places. Uh, okay, so we got. G give me. Give me. I want take to it. make sure you get the one with the feathers take on it. Oh. There's a whole, there's just a whole egg teetering up there. Oh gosh. Now. Can I quit now? Can I just, I feel like we should have a little white flag that we can wave once a year. Uh, and I'm gonna wave it you on, wanna, day, on day, day one. one? <laughs> should I wave it on day one? No. Hey, let's do that Maybe. though. We, each of us has a white flag that we can wave just in case, once a year. Shouldn't do it on day one though, so. Maybe the hairy part, maybe that's a really good part. Gosh, it just, it's unpleasant to run a fork through it. You just gotta be unpleasant to actually put in your mouth. Run a fork through it. Uh, I've run a fork through many a loaf, but none as heinous as this. Let's not just immediately spit it out. Everything in your body is gonna tell you to get this little baby duck out of your mouth. Right, this is a new year. Yeah. We gotta bring our A game to let the people know. That's right, it's 2018. Whether they should do this or the not. The year of the duck. Because right now, is, it, is this the year of the duck? Is that a thing? The embryo duck. Mm, this is the year of the duck for us. Because right now you're thinking, hmm, maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll get a bunch of these bullets <laughs> and I'll make a loaf. Because who knows? Maybe it'll be we great. We gotta tell them that it's a bad idea or a good idea. This is this I, is public service. Three. Duck it. Two. And suck sink it. it. <laughs> Lemon juice does help. Lemon juice is very over. <laughs> it's the idea, man. It's the idea. The it's the idea. idea. The idea is what is making me vomit. It tastes kind of like turkey stuffing. Think of a new idea. Think this of is, a new idea. This is nothing but turkey stuffing in space. Think of Sky City. You remember Sky City and Dunn, that rest, that that store that opened up next to Roses, and my mom was like, Sky City's. The new roses. They got everything. Sky City, man. Take me to Sky City. Sky City would have never gone out of business if they had a loaf bullet. Sky City was so confusing because it was on the ground. And it was in Dunn, which is just a town. Hmm? <laughs> I did it! I ate it! I'm coming, hold on. Uh, join me! I'm in the sky. I'm running from the back. I'm in the toy section right now. I'm coming. Behind me. I'm Join coming me up to the, the register. Checkout counter. Come on. Come on. <sighs> you did it. And you know what? It's gonna be a good year, Link. It was horrible. It's gonna be a great year. But but that wasn't great. 
duck embryo egg balut stuff. Will it loaf? No. no. <laughs> uh, okay, well, now you know. And crew, this is all yours. Oh, yeah. Speaking of crew, uh, they're gonna come on in Good Mythical More and eat another loaf, which is an absolutely amazing candy meatloaf, so stick around for that. But before you do that, make sure you stick around to watch us test out a brand new exercise that involves a bench press and coffee. Wish this video was longer and in your earbuds? You'll love the latest episode of our Ear Biscuits podcast, available now wherever you ear consume your podcasts.